Let's dive right into module number four, which is going to cover the penalties and enforcement aspect of the Corporate Transparency Act. So what triggers these penalties, according to FinCEN, is if you provide false or fraudulent beneficial ownership information or identification, if you willfully cause the company to not file a FinCEN report, or if you cause the company to report inaccurate information to FinCEN. And you know how does that happen? Well, a person could refuse. One of the people that are required to file may not, may not do it. Just like, I'm not going to do it. Whatever. Pound sand. Or that person could provide false information. And uh, that's what's going to trigger it. Now, this is interesting here. We'll get into this, you know, the nuances of this a little bit later in this module. But let's just talk about the uh, penalties. So civil penalties would be a $500 to $1,500 a day fine. FinCEN determines whether they're going to stick you for $500 a day or $1,500 a day. So we're kind of in a, <laughs> a little bit vulnerable about that. Criminal penalties. It is a $10,000 maximum fine per violation and uh, two years in prison per violation, right? Now, they let's just say, for example, that it's not your fault that somebody on the one of the beneficial owners fail provides you fake information or false information. Even if you're a senior officer, even though you have nothing to do with that, you had no idea if that person filed false information or not, they will hold you liable personally for that person. And if they consider it to be a money laundering situation, again, they're the they interpret this, not us. We are guilty until we can prove ourselves innocent. Then they can stick on a money laundering statute, that's which is uh, even worse, which is up to ten years in prison per violation. So that's pretty scary, right? So let's circle back to the civil penalties. Remember in the in the uh, previous module, I talked about how you know they, they they have two very key phrases about whether if you you know you yourself ascertain that you uh, made a mistake on the report and you voluntarily give that information to them, you have 90 days safe harbor. Well, then they also say, well, if you willfully didn't provide the information, then then you get into criminal situations. So a criminal and, and they start sticking you with the fines. But the key phrase is there, how are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know if you, you know, made a mistake on the forms? <laughs> okay. So, Let's let's walk. And remember, I told you how there are tens of millions of businesses are going to have to report next year at some point. So you you can imagine how overloaded the government's going to be with that. Finson's going to be about that. So let's look at it. How are they going to do it? So if you don't voluntarily do it, and Finson you know comes back to you and says, "Hey, you made an error," they could very easily say that that is not a safe harbor situation that you willfully withheld it and they could in, uh, they could at the very minimum best case scenario start issuing a daily fine of $500 a day or you know maybe even 1500 depends on how they interpret it right so um let's look at that so let's say for example as a case study that uh the filing deadline was ge uh, January 31st you submitted everything but there was an error well, FinCEN is so backed up, they don't get back, they don't get to you for 90 days until I say the end of May. They could get you for $500 a day, which would be 90 days, which could be $45,000. If they say, for whatever reason, they're going to go after you for $1,500 a day, well, then that fine uh, amount just went up to $135,000, right? Well, that could cripple your business. And remember, the senior officers are also liable. And responsible, they can come after you personally about those fines, and you know this willful. If they consider it willful, then they can tack on the the criminal penalties, which I said is two years in prison per violation. If they tag on the money laundering part of it, it could be ten years per violation. Uh, and you know they can any time because Finson has these powers under the money laundering statutes. They can freeze your bank accounts, seize your seize your assets, both personal and business, and they could put you in jail, you know? So that's what we're facing. 
you know, with with the Corporate Transparency Act, when it comes to all these penalties and so forth, it's not just a, you know, OK, just got to you know, um, submit a form, none of these federal forms, and that's it. This has teeth and has real danger. So think about this. As you go through this course, keep asking yourself, is it worth it to, to comply with this? You know, wouldn't it be better to exempt yourself from this? So we'll get into that much later in the course. But as we walk through this, keep that question in mind, okay? So I'll see you in the next.